It's true for every elections, but certainly in Belgium, the voters deal the cards and after that, the politicians start playing. This time, we don't have only one election, we have three elections, federal, regional and European, uh, and they all have an impact on each other. Now, that being said, Belgian voters are quite Europe-minded, there is no real exit movement, but the European elections are going to be overshadowed by the federal and the regional ones. In total, in total six governments are going to have to be uh, voted on. Candidate-wise, Belgian parties like to put older, well-known figures uh, that tend to phase out of Belgian politics on European lists. And so names we can, we can expect or we know that are going to be around are Olivier Chastel, Benoît Lugien, um, Chris Peters, um, and certainly also uh, Paul Magnet, who's Mr. Sita, who uh, will be heading the French Socialists, and Gilles Bourgeois, who's been heading the Flemish government for the last five years for the NVA, the Flemish Nationalists, and who's now heading their European list. It's actually quite easy and complicated once all the cards are back on the table to make some predictions. Indeed, complex because um, there are three different uh, circum circumscriptions, but also very easy because voting is mandatory and um, people tend in Belgium to vote the very same way during the years. Um, what we can expect as big tendency, the Flemish nationalists will stay quite strong. The French socialists should be a bit weakened by the communists going on their left and the liberals should suffer from their participation in the government. So in Belgium, when forming a government, two seats are quite important and expensive in terms of points. It's the Prime Minister and the European Commissioner. There's an, an unwritten rule saying that there should be an alternation between a French-speaking commissioner and a Flemish-speaking commissioner. The two last ones were Karel de Hucht and Marie Thyssen, two commissioners coming from the Flemish side of Belgium. You just can expect a French-speaking commissioner. Top, top names that we've seen should be um, Charles Michel, our current um, Prime Minister, Didier Renders, the um, Foreign Affairs Minister, or Paul Magnet, a well-known expert on Europe. Also, as the last card in the game, there is Guy Verhofstadt, the former Belgian Prime Minister and current coordinator for Brexit uh, in the European Parliament. He's been waiting for a very long time for a top international position and will be definitely someone to follow very closely.